If you want to learn how to make the perfect backyard campfire with one match, you're in the right place. Stay tuned. It's 61 degrees. It's sunny. It's spring. That can mean only one thing. That means that today I get to share with you something I actually, truly, super love more than anything else. Um, and that is making a campfire. Uh, we're gonna hit my fire pit in the backyard and I'm gonna teach you how to use one match to make the perfect fire. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Andrew Burke and this is Burke Makes Stuff. Make sure you hit subscribe and that little bell to let you know whenever I put something new up. Uh, Let's get to it. Are you about to watch a video about making the perfect campfire? Are you sitting home going, hey, that sounds swell? Well, it could be. But don't be an idiot. Safety first. Always safety first. Fire is just like power tools. The second you disrespect them, you get hurt. So think, fire safety. And since I know there's kids watching, under parent supervision only. This has been a public service announcement. Welcome to the backyard. At least as it is right now. Uh, we're going to be gutting it this summer, literally down to the, the dirt and rebuilding it all. And that's gonna be a fun little project. <laughs> uh, for now, it's where we're gonna be learning how to build a one match fire, as well as how to open your backyard fire pit for the season. This is what's left of the fire pit. Uh, it was here when we moved in and it is, it's atrocious. Uh, it's so beyond rusting that I can't even fix it myself. So we're gonna be getting a new one, uh, but for learning on how to build a fire, no problem. First thing we gotta do is very simple uh, and logical. It's clean out all the crap that was in there before. Uh, while some stuff in there is not really a big deal, you need a place for all the embers and for the fire to be and exist. And if there's stuff in the way, it can't do that. So let's get that all out of there. The next thing of great importance, of course, is the wood we're gonna use for the fire. So this is where I keep most of my wood over the winter. Uh, it has a weatherproof cover on top of it, keeps everything nice and uh, dry underneath it, which is great. The one thing you need to kind of keep careful of and keep an eye out for over the winter is that sometimes bugs like to move in because it is a black cover that keeps everything in there nice and warm. Uh, so when you open it up for the first time for the season, just make sure you take a look around, make sure everything's okay. This is just a bucket I keep next to where I keep the wood. Uh, and anytime little branches fall out of the trees or I have cutoffs from a wood project I'm doing, I just throw them in here and let them kind of just be. That way they're here whenever I need kindling for the fire. One of the things that I do that makes making a one match fire real easy and requires very little thought is just organizing what you have. Now when I organize stuff, I put them into four really simple groups. Small, medium, large, and logs. In order to get the one match fire started, we're only going to be using small and medium. But once it gets going, adding large and logs on is just obvious. All right, it's time to build the actual fire. First thing I do is I grab the single piece of paper, literally out of the garbage, and we're gonna use that as kind of the frame to build around. Now you're gonna use the driest, smallest pieces, thinnest pieces of what you have to put directly around that paper. And the reason for that is simple. Uh, that's the stuff that needs to get caught on fire, and if that gets caught on fire, the rest of your fire is totally set. Breeze. Okay, check this out, this is important. See this little opening? I call it the door. I'm leaving a small spot open so you can get your match into the center of the fire because that's where you need to light it. All right, here we go. One match, no cutaways, no fancy editing, just you watching the fire. I might speed it up a little bit in a little while just so uh, you don't have to sit there for the whole thing, that'd be crazy.
It's actually so hot at this point that I need to move the camera so we don't have any issues. Now that we got our one match fire going, uh, there's only really one thing left to do and that's enjoy it. If you liked this video and you like me being outdoorsy, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you don't, also please let me know there. Your opinion matters on this channel and I wanna hear from you. Um, there's plenty more projects coming, plenty more already being filmed, already in the works, but I couldn't pass up this awesome day to get outside and make a fire. So make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you click the little bell, ding, that'll attach me to you and let you know first anytime that I upload something online. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the day, go outside, get off your computer after you watch my videos. Take care. Bye. <clears throat>